Hello and good afternoon everybody and welcome back once again for another video of DIY investing. These are always the best kind of days because these are days where I talk about one of my favorite long-term bags that is currently in profit. Over the last couple days, we've seen a recent explosion in the value of XTZ or Tezos, and it's really got me very excited about the longevity of this. This has been one of my long-term bags that I've been accumulating a lot of over the last couple months. And I know a lot of you guys that follow me on YouTube also have this one in your long-term portfolio. So today we're going to be diving in and I'm going to be sharing with you guys an updated analysis inside of Tezos, why I think that this is one of the most bullish coins heading into this new bull cycle how much profit potential have we had just barely and then how much do we still have to go all of this is going to be covered in today's video so make sure you guys stay tuned and watch the whole thing so you're fully in the knowing of what is actually going on inside of tezos market now if you guys are new and just finding this channel make sure you do myself a favor by leaving a like comment and subscribing to this channel for more updates remember guys i also offer signals and i also offer a video course so if you're looking to educate yourself on the same exact strategies that i personally use to profit inside of this market i have made a 20 video series course and in that course it's going to teach you guys all the strategies that i use to profit inside of crypto every day now on top of that if you guys are looking to copy my own personal trades any short-term mid-term and long-term investments that i'm taking and on top of that portfolio management done by me then you guys are definitely going to want to check out the signals all of those are going to be accessed inside of the discord server so make sure you guys click the invitation link in the description of this video and there you're going to get full access to my server with all that being said guys this is one video that i'm super excited about so let's jump right into this amazing content for the day All right, guys, now here we are taking a look at Tezos on the dollar. Now, a couple weeks ago, I talked about Tezos, and we were not at the same equivalent that we are now. At the last update, I talked about Tezos. We were right here at this very bottom. And I told you guys that now is a good time to be looking to be buying. I said that we were going to be expecting to see an impulse very soon. And from that video, we are actually up about 50%. So... We've had quite the big rise inside of Tezos over the last couple weeks. This has been one that I've accumulated quite a bit of in my long-term bags because I have seen a lot of profit potential to be had inside of this cycle. I started my accumulation here at $1.11, so about right, about right there. Let's make these a little bit smaller so they're easy to see. Bought my first entry at $1.11, bought my second entry at $1.23, and then I bought my third at $1.36. And so in this bear cycle, I accumulated at these three prices, $1.36, $1.23, and $1.11. And this has kind of been for my long-term bags. I wasn't really too worried about short-term losses because when I bought my first entry here at $1.11, we actually dropped about 20%. And so I was in some short-term loss when I took some of these positions. But once we actually started to uptrend, that's when I started to add to my long-term bags. And from that point, we're actually in quite a bit of pro uh, profit. I'd say about an average of about 65% profit. And so that's really good for this just being the very start of this bull move. So if you guys were following my YouTube videos or you followed my signals, congratulations on getting in on this amazing long-term hold. All of us are currently in profit from anybody that listened to my signals. And so we're looking really excellent right now. Now, some things I wanted to talk about inside of Tezos. Uh, first off, we have this horizontal resistance. Now we can see that these red boxes are kind of like the majority of the resistance inside of that zone. So we have this horizontal resistance line, this red line, and then we have the boxes. Now the boxes show a relative zone where prices have reacted to, and we've both found support and then we've fallen below. And so this majority uh, support has acted as resistance since we have sold through it. And so this is really where we've been consolidating for practically since about August of 2018. So almost uh, about two years, we've been consolidating in this and we need to be actually break out. But what happened was over the last couple days, we've actually broken outside of that horizontal resistance zone. And so guys, this is a very big move that's actually taking place. And this is one of the most bullish looking charts that I have found amongst the entire cryptocurrency market. This one has shown us based off of the last couple uh, days of consolidation that there's a lot of new money that's entering this market. And we've actually broke outside of this horizontal resistance level quite convincingly. Now, it is very possible that we could come back down and actually retest this as support before going back up in that cycle. But the way it's looking, it's looking a little bit less like that's going to happen. And in fact, I think what's going to be more likely that we start seeing some strong impulses coming from this point. Now, looking at this chart, there's a couple things. We had this horizontal resistance zone. We've broken outside of that with this most recent move right here. 
Um, and now on top of that, what we had previously was this descending resistance. This was the all-time descending resistance um, of Tezos. Every time we reacted to this level, we would reject off of that and we would fall lower. Now what happened was here at about October, uh, November of 2019, we actually got our first breakout from that. And so based off of a trending perspective, we had this major downtrend. We have now broken from all of the major downtrend of the bear market. We have a lot of matching volume to kind of coexist with that breakout. Lots of new money is entering this market. We had this major horizontal resistance zone. Every time we'd hit this, we'd previously rejected, and that was what we really needed to break out of to confirm a higher high and confirm this bear market trend reversal. And we just recently got that over the last couple days. And so for me, guys, this is a full go to the moon. Looking at this chart, you're not gonna find a more bullish looking setup across the altcoins. This one has basically covered all of the guidelines that I had for investing in a market cycle. Rule number one is obviously the descending resistance. Once the descending resistance has been broken, that's kind of your confirmed trend reversal. Now, we also had this major uh, horizontal resistance that we had right here. We broke from that as well, and so this is a confirmed higher high in this cycle. Now, really the only thing left that I look for as far as the market cycle is an 80% correction, and we've had that for a while now. We actually had that all the way upwards of about here at this point. And so we actually sold off about 97%. And so this was one of the more uh, volatile bear market consolidations that we saw inside of the bear market. And so Tezos has now proved to us that it's actually bullish, right? So we've covered all of our bases here. Now let's remove some drawing tools and let's actually talk about where we're... A now let's actually remove some drawing tools and let's take a look at what's coming for Tezos because this is a really important aspect, guys. Now... Basically what we had, let's walk you through the cycle here. This was our parabolic move inside of the bull market, right? This was our parabolic run. Now, what followed was an Elliott wave ABC correction. And so we're gonna draw that back here. We had three impulse waves, one, three, and five. Then we start the retrace, A, B, C back down. Now the interesting thing about a C leg is the fact that every C leg has five impulse waves. And so this was the A, this was the B, and now the C leg has five impulse waves. And so let's see if we actually got that here inside of Tezos. One, three, and then five. So we actually did end up getting those five impulse waves back down. This was a confirmed ABC correction. Now what happened was once we actually broke outside of this descending resistance, that confirmed the bull market trend. And so by taking a look at here, what we're gonna see inside of Tezos is that we just finished a one wave. This is a one wave, and now we're working on the three. Now let's change these up a little bit so they're easier to see for all of us. Okay, so here we have forming a one, two, three, four, and five, right? Now, what we need to find here is three sets of three in each wave. So this would have been our one wave, this would have been our three wave, and then this would have been our five wave. So let's change these up a little bit. Let's make these ones minuscule. Let's actually show the wave here so that we can see kind of what's happening. So we had our first three impulse waves, one, three, and five, and that completed our first one wave with an ABC correction back down, ABC, and we fell support perfectly on that 618 uh, Fibonacci. Now, what's coming next is the new set of three impulse waves. So in the one wave, we had a one, two, three, four, five. Now in the three wave, which is this big impulsive wave right here, we're going to have another three sets of three. So what we just finished, this big volume increase, was the one wave. So this is the one of the three. Now what's coming next is the three of the three, and then we'll have the five of the three. Now let's go through here. Let's make, mix these up a little bit. So what's coming next is the three of the three. This is gonna be a very impulsive wave, and that's actually why in my last video, I told you guys that I was expecting this to be really the last good buying opportunity that we're gonna get before we start really impulsing. And that's exactly what's happened. And the reason for that, guys, is because this three wave impulse that's coming inside of Tezos is the most uh, it's the most parabolic of all of the Elliott wave impulses. And so this being the one wave, that's why we saw so much new volume coming in here. So it's the one of the three. Now what we're working on currently is the three of the three. This one's gonna get very parabolic very quickly. And so it's important that we watch out for that. Now, then we'll have a short-term correction into the four wave, and then we'll have one more final five wave impulse back up that will complete this three wave. Now, I don't know how high this is gonna get. This three wave could be a little bit shorter. We might only go to about here. We could also go upwards of about you know six dollars, and so it's hard to say exactly where 
the exact top is going to be of this three wave. All I do know is that it's going to get very impulsive and very parabolic. Now, the way that what I've seen previously in Elliott Wave Theory and how it applies to market cycles inside of these altcoins um, is generally speaking, during the first wave, the first major impulse wave of the previous cycle, you'll have a one, a three, and a five, and all three of those impulse waves will take you close to that all time high mark. And so we could very easily see. Uh, you know, a really extended three wave that takes us upwards of about here. And then we could see a five wave that takes us close to that all time high mark. And so it's very possible that we could see something a little bit more parabolic than what I even have drawn here. And that's why I'm not really looking to take too many profits in this initial impulse. I'm actually, you know, I've told you guys that these are for my long term holds. And so I'm really not taking a whole lot of profits. These are my long term investments. Um, any really guys any sort of consolidation below this all-time high mark is really noise to me I will take a small amount of my profits really just my entry fee and that's it um, I'll pull off my entry fee when we start to get higher up here closer to about five dollars I'll take off my entry fee and then I'll put that entry fee into cash and use it for something else whether I want to put it into something uh, a different investment or whether I want to hold it in cash I don't know but that's the way that I'm going to personally structure this trading plan because for me guys, this is a long-term game. This is a long-term investor's approach for me. I see the long-term trend uh, developing and I can trade shorter time frames and that's what allows me to map out what's happening for you guys. But as of right now, I'm not looking to sell. Um, this is me holding. This is me. You know, I accumulated quite a bit in this bear market retrace and because I got in so low, because I, or I uh, took my bid so cheap. I have nothing to worry about besides more upside to come. And so for me, guys, Tezos, just in the last couple days, it went from being my fourth biggest position to being my second biggest position. And that was just because of a 20 to 30 cent move. So can you guys imagine how crazy this thing's going to get when we hit upwards of three to four dollars? You know, there's a lot more profit potential to be had than taking profits right now. One of the things that a lot of people are going to make mistakes of in this current bear market is the fact that maybe if you got in during this bear market and you bought up here, you bought up here, maybe you bought up here, or maybe you bought at the bottom, what's going to happen is you're going to see these markets start to uptrend a little bit and you're going to take your profits way too early. And that's what you guys do not want to do. You want to be holding on to these because for the next couple years, it's going to be nothing but a solid sustained uptrend inside of the best altcoins and the best cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. And so if you guys understand that and just look to hold, you're going to make significantly more money. I mean, the average person watching this channel doesn't know how to trade. I don't even try and trade that much realistically because I know that if I try and over trade and I try and over complicate my strategy, I'm just going to end up losing out on more money than I would have gained. So the best thing for me to do and the best thing I can teach you guys is to make sure you're holding throughout the longevity of these uh, big parabolic runs. And so to me, guys, this is obviously one of the best looking setups in the game. Um, you guys know my long term bags has always been Ethereum, Tezos, XRP. Um, those have been really my biggest uh, long term bags. I have a couple other ones besides that, but they're a lot less of my portfolio compared to these ones. Now, Tezos actually went from being my fourth to my second. It surpassed uh, XRP in dollar value. And so I actually hold a significant amount of Tezos. And the more that it goes up, the more that I'm actually making. And so it'd be nice to see a couple of the other coins catch up. But this has been one I've been accumulating for a while, expecting exactly what we're seeing now. And so I wanted to give you guys an update with kind of what is going on. Realistically, we still have a lot more upside to come. If we pull up some Fibonacci to give you guys some upside targets. Um, I would say that we're headed to at least you know, $4.30, about right here. I'd say that it's pretty uh, likely that we're going to hit at least that point. Now, it is possible that we could hit upwards of this 3618, which would take us to about $5.75. That's another possibility that I'm watching for. And realistically, I'm just going to kind of watch and see what the market does. I'm going to see how parabolic we get. And then I'll be able to judge exactly where the top is going to be based off of price action. Because at this point right now, we just entered price discovery. I mean, we did just break the previous cycle high, which was right here. We cleared a major horizontal resistance. And so right now it's price discovery. Nobody knows exactly how high it's going to go. All we can do is label resistance zones and areas of high demand based off Fibonacci. And we can just go based off of that. Because at the end of the day, nobody really knows how high it's going to go. All I'm really doing is just kind of showing you guys what I'm expecting to have happen. And so this is kind of my analysis that I had for you. I wanted to briefly touch up on Tezos. I want to talk to you guys about why I'm bullish on it, the, the key technical perspective, the key areas that we've broken from, 
um, what's to be expected coming very shortly with this next parabolic move. Uh, I, the reason I wanted to make this one on this Monday, I actually had a different idea for you guys, but this one was a little bit better because we just broke out. Wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page, all the people that listened to me and accumulated t the Tezos, because I know that there actually was a lot of you. So I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. With all that being said, guys, thank you all so much for the support. Remember, if you're new and just finding this channel and you like any of the content, and you like any of the content, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Remember, I also offer a course in Signal, so if you guys want access to that, you guys can join by clicking the invitation link in the description of this video, and there you're gonna get access to my Discord server. Once you're on my Discord server, you can actually message me on here to get access. Um, I he either have a 20 video course series, or I have a or I have the signals, either one of those, they're both lifetime memberships, and so you guys can get access to either of those by just joining my Discord. So make sure you guys get a hold of me on that, and with all that being said, I will catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.